No microphone, no nothing. The dip came. Let's unbox it real quick. <laughs> looking pretty good in here it's not broken that's the best thing just some little paper cardboard on the ends it seems <laughs> why did i get a panel so freaking big let's uh throw it up here on the top of these so that's what it looks like compared to the two renergy panels that's actually not bad <laughs> that's not bad at all and then we'll break it down here and lay it on top of those two uh what are those HQST panels. They're about the same width you can see looking at it. This is what it looks like on these. So it's just a little bit smaller. Nice. I like it. All right, it is the next morning. Had to do some stuff with the family. I should change that. I got to do some stuff with the family. I didn't have to. <laughs> family time is golden. 118 watts on the dash right now. My AC is on, power in my little fridge. But let's uh, go swap these panels out. Oh, let me show you what the EcoFlow is pulling in. Shoot, I can't even show you, it's full. God dog it. <laughs> uh, let me put a load on it real quick to show you the real power it's taking. All right, now that I got a load on here, you can see it's pulling in 123, 122, 124. Let's check the uh, the joint down in the bottom just to make sure it hasn't jumped up a couple points. I'm basically trying to make a point that no matter what, yeah, it's still at 118. So the EcoFlow is getting in a few more watts. But I was trying to make the point that no matter what, these things are pulling in very comparable watt inputs. And it's both off of two panel sets laying flat. Uh, not directed towards the sun, but the sun, where's the sun at? The sun's like overhead, so yeah, it's very comparable, you know what I mean? So, Renergy $200 for those panels, $160 for those, you know what you're gonna do? Blair well, yeah, just got him two of them, so I'm sure he's gonna see very comparable results too. I don't know, I'm waiting for the video, brother. Now, what y'all have been waiting for. <laughs> Let's get this outside and get this hooked up. So I see a little dent right here in the frame. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug. Look at the sun. You son of a sun. Oh, okay, it's just a little cloud. Let's check the power output. Yeah, it dropped down significantly. 24, while that sun's blocking it. Oh, going back up, turn up. These panels are on a parallel cable or a wide cable. I'm going to leave them here and just unplug out of my wide cable and plug it right into that one. Can I one hand this? It's like some MC4 cables are a delight to use. Others, pain. Come on. Get up out of there. I think I'm going to need my pliers. Now I'm ruining my little plug trying to use these pliers on it. There we go. Heard that snap. I thought I broke something. <laughs> Plugged in. Getting power. Screen probably going to turn off before it tell me anything. 128. I like it. 133. I love it. I don't love 133. I need like 140 something. Oh man, that's it. 133. It was at 118 before. So almost a 20 watt bump. There should be some higher numbers I get from this panel throughout the day and where I put it and stuff like that. But I'll take 133. Oh, 137. Went to 137, 139. Wait, I gotta put something into perspective. Jasonoid, check out his channel. He had an exhaustive review of the EB70. He only pulled about 160 or so watts. I'll correct it down on the bottom from his SP200 panel. And that's supposed to be the most ideal panel for that dip. So for me to be getting 138 off of this panel, I, I can dig that. I'm hoping for a little more because 118 is not even the highest that I've seen from it. So I expect at some point during the day, it will go higher just depending on the sun. There's a little bit of a haze out there. So that could be impacting the sun's luminance. <laughs> Let me explain a couple things to y'all about my strategy. If for any reason I need to pull these panels in, pulling in two panels is a pain. Like somebody came in, they cut my grass because this grass, this lawnmower stopped working. At least I think it stopped working, I need to test it. But I had to move my stuff down and grabbing them and moving them is a pain. It was much more of a pain. <laughs> 
when they were tethered together by this uh, little one foot wire cable. But I put this extension cable on them so it would be easy to like put two hands on them. So now if I need to grab this, grab it, move it over. Even just moving it is gonna be easier. Like sometimes my sun day ends right here. So I could easily grab this, put it up against my little metal chair and then get that last little bit of 138 watts apparently. Being able to have a true bona fide 100 watt panel at the back of my house to charge these little power stations and having another 100 watt panel at the front of my house to charge a power station that's up there. I would much prefer <laughs> to have these Renergy panels be my kind of like mobile move around bring to the front panels because like I said in the earlier video these are a lot easier to handle than these uh, HQST. Oh let's throw another twister into this. At some point I'm gonna have to deal with the fact that this panel will probably produce more power on my EcoFlow than it does on my Blue Eddy. But it's like, do I take more power on the EcoFlow and sacrifice those few watts? Or do I leave this on the EB70? Decisions, decisions, your boy has to make. <laughs> I think I'm pretty set. Unless, unless somebody sends me a, like a EB150 or <laughs> one of those AC200 Maxes or the AC200Ps then that's gonna mess everything up. <laughs> Cause they can take in about 400 watts. So what I will probably end up, yeah, let's just go through it. What I will probably end up, if somebody sends me a bigger power station that could take in a lot more watts, let's say 400, I'll probably end up having the HQSTs and the Renergies in parallel or series because those bigger ones can take series connections. That would actually be more convenient or parallel series connection. I'll probably end up having all four of those panels go into that big beastie power station and then put my 200 watt panel on probably my EB70 still. Because even though I have the EcoFlow River, it's only a 288 watt hour capacity one. Oh, somebody suggested I do a video about all my power stations. That video is coming. I like that idea. I was thinking about doing that any anyway, but I have to figure out the angle that is useful to y'all. All right, so I have holler.